hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a multiplied by a multiplied by a divided by a plus a plus a is equals to 8 and we solve this problem for all the values of 8 so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So here we use the nice exponential law into the numerator term. You know about that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, it will be written as a to the power of m plus n. So according to this rule of exponent, you see here these three values are multiplied by each other. So it means that we need to add the exponents of all of these three terms. So it will become a to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by here we have a plus a plus a becomes 3 times of a is equals to 8. So here you just uh, see that when 3 variable terms are added by each other we need to add the coefficients of these terms. So here you see that the coefficients of all of these 3 terms are 1. So when we add it 3 times it will become 3 times of a. Okay. Uh, so further in the next step here we need to move this 3a to the right hand side because you see here in the left hand side it is divided by here but when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 8 and here we have a to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 becomes a cubed divided by 3 times of a is equals to 8. And in the next step we move this 3a to the left to the right hand side and it will becomes a cubed is equals to 8 multiplied by 3a and in the next step you see here uh, we move uh, uh, here first we need to simplify the terms and we have uh, in the right hand side is a times of 3a becomes a cubed is equals to a times 3 becomes 24 times of a so here we need to move this 24 times of a to the uh, left hand side and it will be written as a cubed minus uh, 24 times of a is equals to 0. And further in the next step uh, uh, you see here both of these two terms involve a it means that we have a be the common term so that when we take common a from here we get the remaining values are so from here we get a square minus from here we get 24 and this whole equation is equal to 0. So further uh, here we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write a is equal to 0 and the second case is we write a square minus 24 is equal to 0. So uh, here uh, this is the first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this uh, equation. So from here we move this minus 24 to the right hand side and it will become a square is equal to 24. So here for the values of a we need to take the square root on both of the sides so when we take square root on both of the sides it will become this two and this square root are gone and we get here a is equals to this is a square root of 24 and uh, we write uh, this as 24 as 6 times of 4 becomes here 24 so here we get the values of a is equals to here we know that square root of 4 becomes 2 times of uh, square root of 6 so further you see here uh, when we apply square root on both of the sides we need to write here plus minus sign any one of the sides so we write here plus minus sign uh, to the right hand side so we get here these are the two roots uh, of the given equation so now here in the next steps we need to verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so for this we need to verify uh, the roots uh, so for verification of the roots first we need to copy down a given question statement here and the given question statement is a multiplied by a multiplied by a divided by a plus a plus a is equals to 8. So this is the our given question statement and now here uh, in this side we will be verify a is equals to 0 and uh, uh, in this side we will be verify a is equals to square root of 24 or 
uh, a is equal to plus minus 2 times of square root of 6 so here first we choose the positive value uh, sorry negative value okay and now here at the last we will be verify the negative value so when you put a is equals to 0 into the left hand side we clearly see that this is 0 divided by 0 becomes here 8 we know that in the left hand side becomes 0 over 0 form and usually we will be called uh, it as it is the uh, indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is uh, undefined okay so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and when both of the sides are not equal uh, this concludes about that uh, uh, a is equals to zero is not satisfied our given question statement so if a is not satisfied a given question statement we call that a is equals to zero be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the final conclusion about one root of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify uh, the other root so that here we just put a is equals to minus two times of square root of six into the left hand side and it will be written as uh, so if you focus uh, on the left hand side we need little bit simplification so we write this term as a cubed divided by three times of a is equals to eight and here you see that this a and uh, a are cancelled out by each other and we get here a square divided by three is equals to eight and now we need to substitute the value of a is equals to uh, plus minus square root of 24 so here we just substitute uh, plus minus sign uh, here because this is the square term so it will become the same answer when our a is positive or negative okay so that here we choose uh, both of these two values and now when you put these values here it will become plus minus square root of 24 and its whole square divided by 3 is equals to 8 or not this is the our claim so in the next step you see here uh, when we take the square on positive and negative terms so it will always becomes here positive so and also we know that uh, this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here 24 divided by 3 and we check that is this equals to 8 or not and here you clearly see that this is 3 times of 8 becomes 24 and we get here 8 is equals to 8 so this shows that, that the values of uh, a is equals to plus minus 24 uh, or in other words we just say that uh, uh, a is equals to plus minus 24 square root or it is also equals to plus minus 2 times of square root of 6 is satisfied over this given question statement so this means that this is the, our final conclusion about the solution and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos